We're going to discuss the volumes, volume of some solids today. Um, just to remind you about what a prism is. A prism is a polyhedron which it has got um, basically the kind of top and the bottom base of the polyhedron are exactly the same shape, so congruent shape. So like if you've got a hexagon here at the bottom, you've got exactly the same hexagon right same size same shape everything at the top and the bottom all right so this will be a hexagonal prism and this one here will be a triangular prism triangle at the top triangle at the bottom right um, and it's an identical right congruent triangle at the top and bottom this is a triangular prism a cube is basically a square prism right square at the bottom square at the top right exactly the same size etc and here this is a rectangular prism rectangle at the top rectangle at the bottom there and the top and the bottom are completely parallel to each other and they're congruent shapes so those are your prisms and your cylinders are really kind of the circular version of prisms they've got a circle at the top and at the bottom right and these circles are parallel to each other and exactly the same size congruent and um, parallel to each other now for both prisms and for cylinders the way we work out the volume is that the volume of these is the area of the base multiplied by the height of the prism or the cylinder. So if you wanted to work out this one, you'd need to work out the, the volume of this. You'd need to work out the area of the hexagonal base and multiply it by the height. Or the area of the triangle multiplied by the height. Area of the square multiplied by the height. Area of the rectangle multiplied by the height. Area of the circle multiplied by the height. And of course we know that we can put these... Um, prisms and cylinders on their side so if it was like this right this triangle we would still consider that the base you know it's the ba it's the shape that you've got at the top and the bottom sort of thing so it's the area of the triangle multiplied by the height we just have to picture it lying on its side and same with the cylinder lying on its side it's still to get the volume area of the circle multiplied by the height so the, the um, formulae that we deal with specifically this year would be the rectangular prism, but there's nothing special about this. It is exactly as we've said, it's the area of the base, so that's length times breadth, multiplied by the height, right? And of the cylinder, it's area of the circle, which is pi r squared, multiplied by the height. And then for the um, triangular prism, it'll be area of the triangle multiplied by the height. Now, area of a triangle, and this is where it just gets a little bit confusing because they're two different heights. The one is the height of the actual triangle and the other is the height, right? How tall is your triangular prism? So just to make sure we know the difference, we use a big H, a capital letter H, for the actual height of the prism. So how do we work out the area of the volume of this prism? It's the area of the triangle, which which is half base times height multiplied by this the height of the actual prism okay so if we had to work out this one what is the area of this triangular prism well we've got to take the I mean not the area the volume of this triangular prism we've got to take the area of this triangle so this volume of this one is going to be the area of this little triangle here at the bottom and the area of that is half the base. The base is 9 and 9, which is 18, multiplied by the height of the triangle. So it's height 40 of the triangle. So there's your area of your base, multiplied by the height of the prism, which is 100. And when we work that out, we get 36000 centimeters cubed.